Good morning, Days with Jordan the Lion. It's not quite a mirror, but sometimes when you wake up and you look at that on the wall, there's no better way to start the day than feeling like Elvis. Oh yeah, we're going to start off today with the Guns N' Roses 2016 Not In This Lifetime Tour shirt. Just because I love Guns N' Roses. And the Under Armour Cleveland Cavalier color ones. Just feel like having some gold on my feet today. What is this laying on the ground? There's only one Diamond Dave that I know of, and it's Diamond Dave Lee Roth. Interesting. Well, this building's a famous one. I mean, if you look at just the right half of the building, this was the building that they used to establish John Favreau's apartment in Swingers. And Swingers is a pretty important movie because in 1996, when this came out, everybody and their mother started taking swing dancing lessons. It just became... Now that's kind of the shot they show from the movie. One of the more interesting things about this is that this was actually the building John Favreau was living in at the time. Um, the movie was so ultra low budget that he used his own apartment and he was a writer and director on the movie and he wrote the movie inside the apartment they show him in inside here. So it's pretty interesting. Um, it ended up making his career and it made Vince Vaughn's career and I'm sure you guys know what they've done. John Favreau's directed Iron Man and he was in Chef and various other things. But yeah, this is where it all started. Not too far from me actually. Pretty interesting to me anyway. Somebody who lived on my block uh, filmed his first breakout movie and everything here inside the apartment he was living in. I don't know exactly what apartment it was he was living in, but this was the building, and this is the shot from the movie. Now it's like a gated access, but you can see, or I mean I can see anyway, into their lobby they actually have a poster from Swingers. You can't really see it from here, but here, I'll show you. If you look inside, right there is the poster from Swingers beside the Batman poster. So, there you go. A little cinema history for you. The apartment from Swingers. Mike, uh, Mike, played by John Favreau, and Vince Vaughn was in that as well. The building is on Franklin, and uh, that's it in the background behind me, that's the side view. Even though the building was built in like 1923 or 25, I couldn't find any history about it for anything. Um, other than that it was the Swingers location. you think something, it's called the Via Marcella if you want to look yourself, but you think for a building that's been in this neighborhood and been around here so long, it would have some sort of history? I don't know. Maybe there's a history that's just hidden. It's also, it's weird that they have a Batman poster on the inside because Batman wasn't filmed out here. I believe that was filmed in London. The, uh, that was the Michael Keaton original 1989 Batman. And I don't think any of that was filmed out here. I could be wrong. I don't know. If you know anything about it, let me know. Anyway, that was our Swingers location today. Money, baby, money. Well, it is mm, Thursday night football. Ah! Bengals and Dolphins, and I'm a Bengals fan, so I am watching the Bengals game right now. Right now we're winning, I hope we keep it up, because the Miami Dolphins are not very good. I'm loving our defense right now, they're playing great. You know, I am honestly never, I've never been a huge Andy Dalton fan. I've always, I always feel like he's a little bit soft. Man, he is having a hell of a game tonight. A heck of a game tonight. He's, uh, he's just not missing any connections. I love it. Man, this is a fun game to watch for me right now. Oh, Dunlap just caused a, uh, a sack and a fumble. We now have the ball again. The game just keeps getting better and better. Nugent's kick's good. 16-7. I don't think Nugent ever misses.
Well, we're in the third quarter and we're just dominating. It's uh, 19 to seven. Hasn't been much to report because we're just scoring and on little plays like kicks and things like that. But uh, Bengals domination for sure. 22-7. Well, the Bengals won it, 22 to seven. I mean, that was just, they said there wasn't a touchdown after the first quarter. Oh, anyway, I just uh, felt like getting out of the house and I thought of kind of a funny location I'll put on here. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember when Fred Willard got in trouble for exposing himself in a theater, but uh, I'm just, I live kind of close by there and so I just figured I'd cruise the neighborhood and put that place on here. I love Fred Willard, so I actually think it's pretty funny now, but uh, that could have been a career killer for him. Well, there it is. Definitely one of the odder things that I've logged, but I have a great sense of humor, so, and I love Fred Willard, so. There it is. I guess he was in here at like midnight one night. Cops made a routine stroll through, found him sitting in the back, accused him of something he claims he wasn't doing, and they let him go. Well, I mean, they took him to the police station and booked him, and then really nothing ever ended up happening. So if you're looking for a good photo op and you're a Fred Willard fan, by all means, come out to the Tiki Theater and take in the fine art that's out here while you're at the Tiki Theater. Come out for a cigarette break and check that out. I wonder if she's crying because they busted Fred Willard there. That's understandable. He's a hero. But I'll tell you this, here's what's a weird thing is that uh, right next to this is uh, there's a little alleyway over here. And straight down this alley, there's a building back here. That building used to be a sound stage, and that's where they filmed Plan 9 from Outer Space. One day I was out here snooping around, looking around and everything, and uh, the guy who managed that came out here and saw me, started talking to me a little bit, and he told me that, yes, in fact, I was right, that was, and at the time, that was a rehearsal space rental, so if you were in a band, you could come and rent a uh, rehearsal space back there. He let me walk through it, it was just a bunch of rooms all painted head to toe black with black carpet, nothing fancy, but that's what it was back there. And he told me that this place right here, this Harvey Apartments, that uh, Edward used to drink there. The guy who managed it at the time also told me, um, I think he said he owned it, but he also told me that Hendrix used to play there and that used to be a club in the 60s that Hendrix used to play at. So I think I looked it up at one point. I just forget what the name of the club was. It was on Santa Monica and pretty much Wilton. So if you want to look up some of your history, you can find out what that club was Hendrix used to play at. 